Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial for FPS Engine. Today I'll show you how you can import FPS Engine into Unity 6 in HDFP. Now I assume that you already got Unity 6 installed in your computer, but in case you don't have it, you can go into the Unity Hub, click on Installs and then Install Editor and select Unity 6. Now because I already have it installed, I'll just go to the Projects uh, tab Click on New Project and then choose the Editor version, which is going to be Unity 6. Just like that, the Universal 3D Render Pipeline will be selected, but we want to use the HDFP, so let's click on High Definition 3D Render Pipeline. Now let's properly name this project. Let's do HDFP Project and click on Create Project. All right, awesome. So here we got a brand new HDFP project. So now we need to install FPS Engine. So let's go to Window, uh, Package Manager, then click on My Assets, and there you'll need to search FPS Engine. Now here, if you haven't downloaded FPS Engine yet, you'll see a button to download the asset or update it if you're not using the most recent version. Now, because I am using the latest release for FPS Engine, I'll just click on import 1.32 project, then let's click on import and install upgrade. Now here you can see everything that comes with FPS Engine, so make sure all of this is marked and included to import. Let's click on next and here in the second step, we need to make sure that we do not include the graphics settings and the uh, quality settings. This is because we need to use the HDFP with FPS Engine, but FPS Engine is made using the built-in render pipeline. So if we were to import these settings, they will override the HDFP, and we definitely do not want to do that. So let's click on import, and here click on yes for these and other files that might be found later. All right, awesome. Now we can close this and we got FPS Engine already installed into our project. So let's go to Cousins, Demo and let's open the blank scene. Now here, as you can see, we got a few issues. And the first thing is that the ground is pink. So to fix that, we'll go to Window, Rendering and then uh, HDRP Wizard. And if we scroll down, you can see that we got a few errors. Now, the first thing to fix is the color space. So we can just click on fix. We'll also have an issue for light map encoding. So we can click on fix all platforms. There we go. And now you can see a few buttons here. So let's click on convert all built-in materials to HDFP. Now, this happens because as I said earlier, FPS Engine was built using the built-in render pipeline, so whenever we need to use the HDFP, we need to convert all the materials so they work in HDFP. Awesome, so we've already done that, but you can notice that our ground is still pink, and this is because we have just converted all the built-in materials to use the HDFP but the ground or the grid material that comes with FPS Engine is actually a custom shader. So that's why the HDFP wizard does not recognize it. So to fix this, we'll go to the round. And as you can see, this is the shader that it uses. So we can click here and then go to HDFP, then lit. And because this is gonna be the grid material, we can go onto the base map and then grid and then just modify the tiling, so something like 50, 50 will work. Now let's play. And everything seems to work except for the text. Now, why is that? FPS Engine uses the Text Mesh Pro package, so we need to go to Window, Text Mesh Pro, and then Import TMP Essential Resources. Click on that and basically click on Import. This will import the base version of Text Mesh Pro. And now, if we hit the play button, 